Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to add variations to your hi-hats. I'm going to demo this beat I just made. Next, I'm going to solo the hi-hat pattern that I created and I'm going to show you Next, I'm going to show you how I got to this, uh, how I gave the hi-hats that certain uh, bounce, so to speak. So if you notice, there's some velocity changes, there's some uh, random panning and, uh, uh, and some changes in the pitch of the hi-hat. So... I created this MIDI effects tool that I'll leave a, a link to in the description of this video. And uh, let me just play the, the hi-hat to dry with no effects. And also I'm gonna turn down the spread and the random painting that I added to my hi-hat pattern. All right, so it's pretty basic. So what I like to do to give my hi-hats a certain bounce, a certain vibe, I'll, I'll turn the spread up to about like, you know, 17. You could adjust this accordingly. This is just what I do. It's always different every time I make a beat. Um, and then I'm gonna go grab a random, uh, which is a, a MIDI effects uh, random. And then I'll also grab a velocity of a MIDI effects tool. What I'll do is I'll adjust the chances of random, uh, I guess random triggers of the hi-hat um, in terms of pitch. And then I'll just adjust this to six and two and then and you can just adjust this accordingly to how you see fit to the your hi-hat pattern so this is how it sounds now and this is how it sounded without it so you notice that it has some pitch changes in the hi-hat next i'm going to turn on my velocity uh i'll turn this knob up to about here and then I'll lower the threshold. And then I'll I'll turn the random about here or so. And then this what this this does is gives your hi-hats different velocity changes, with uh the highest velocity being 127 and the lowest being uh 26. So as we see, it definitely gave our um I had some flavor, uh, some character, some uh, some bounce. Uh, so what we'll do is just we'll solo the drum group. Nice and simple. Um, and let's play it. All, let's play the full arrangement all together. Sounds good. So let me just show you uh, the, the MIDI effects tool that I created, which is pretty much the same thing. I just mapped the macros to make it a little bit easier to, to uh, adjust. See what it does. That's, and this is, you know, this adjusts the velocity and the, the setting of how low you want your random velocity MIDI changes to be, the threshold. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Um, just play with the knobs and get the desired effect you like. Uh, I hope this tutorial helps. And all right, guys, thanks for watching.